No, what's this mean to be able to get down here? Just how the, how's the logistics look for you in the next uh, 24 hours? Well, it's busy. Obviously, it's a busy time of year, but I appreciate the uh, university trying to figure out a date. Danny's worked hard on it as well. Bill Rowe's been incredible and um, always appreciate getting back here. It's hard to believe it's been 25 years. Uh, it's a very special team, so to get back and be able to see some former players and friends here in this area uh, as well as celebrate Danny's uh, jersey. Um, I'm so glad that I I don't like missing practice, but this is one I'll miss practice for. Celebrating year 25, and uh, it's going to be a, it's going to be all about kind of all about him a little bit today. Just what makes him so deserving of having this recognition? Well, it was a very special team. They were talking to us, Sean McCreary, a good friend of mine, about what this team was. They were just really close. You talk about culture, you talk about togetherness and selfishness. That's what this team was, and they had a toughness to them. And Danny was just one of those guys that was nearly seven foot tall that had a touch like a like Kevin Alt uh, in the backcourt. I mean, he could just really shoot the ball. He was a great foul shooter. Uh, he's somebody you could throw it to in the post. You could pick and pop him. So he was a nightmare to try to guard, and, um, and he just kept getting better defensively as well. And the guys did a good job of understanding his importance. He did a good job of, of knowing their importance of the roles that they had to play. So it was just a, it was a fun team, and obviously Danny's very deserving of this. Of, of all the great players that have played here at, at Missouri State, he's definitely one of them. Lengthy career, just what makes you think back to 99 all these years later? Yeah, just uh, the craziness of that year. I thought that uh, when I say craziness, it was it was just so much fun. It was a year where this, this group was, they were easy to coach because I knew they were always going to give me everything they had. We had a wonderful coaching staff. We had wonderful players. We brought in a lot of Indiana guys with a mixture of Missouri guys. And then you got String Dog and you got... Um, you got Bruton that were, you know, out of the state and um, just a special group of guys that um, they fought every possession. I think they were very exciting to, to watch. And then when it's all over with, you know, you, you beat you beat Wisconsin, you beat Tennessee, and then you elim you're eventually eliminated by the team that wins the whole thing. Uh, so it was just a, a fun year. It was exciting for this community and to see how this community sp supported our guys uh, was a lot of fun. So I couldn't have asked for more. I'm, very appreciative Bill Rowe gave me the opportunity to come here. What about Tennessee, the Tennessee game? What made Danny so special in that one to where he was able to have one of the most iconic games in this school's history? Well, the, the game before Wisconsin was extremely ugly. It was played in no. the 40s and 30s. <laughs> and uh, I can remember taking them to, I don't know if it was ESPN zone or somewhere we were watching games. And, and we got Tennessee next. And my dad's on my staff. And uh, I look at him when we're warming up against Tennessee. And I'm like, that those guys look like NBA guys. I mean, they were huge. And um, Danny obviously was the tallest guy on our team, and Danny dominated. I'll never forget, uh, I think, old Rocky Top. They, they started chanting old Rocky Top 10 minutes to go in the, just before the game started. And by halftime, they were singing it going up the steps because the thing was over. And obviously, Danny had a huge game. Uh, oh, yeah, no. uh, uh, just uh, the way you smile about this time in your life, it, it's got to be, it, those got to be special ones that come to mind, e even throughout all this, whether you're at UCLA, Nevada. Oh, there's, there's, no, there's no question. And, you know, Bill gave me an opportunity to come here and lifelong friends here and, uh, that have been very, very special. And wish I could get back here more. It's not quite close enough to Reno. Uh, and I got kids um, in Vegas, Scottsdale, and outside of Fort Wayne, Indiana, and mom and dad live in Indy, and so it's it's difficult to get back here. Um, but when I do, it's always special times and very special memories. An incredible community. We got such great backing, and um, just a very special time. As I started my D1 career, getting my start here, and you know, I got my children of all. Kayla was born here, and then you got two boys that are now one's coaching and. Bryce, who used to kick around on his court when he was like two or three, is in his seventh year professionally. So it's just uh, a lot of great memories. And it's great coming back and seeing our players, of how what they've done. They've been very successful after they left here. And they've stayed in touch with one another. They continue to support Missouri State. And that's something that means a lot to me. Just the passing of Bob Knight, too, I want to give you an opportunity to talk about what that meant to you, playing for him. Yeah, that's a hard one. You know, it was a, a tough couple of weeks. Um, because uh, I knew it was, it was inevitable, it was coming. He hasn't been in good health for the last three or four years and really started to slip. I saw him about three, four weeks before he passed, and I knew it wasn't good at that time. But just uh, he's out of pain now and uh, at peace and comfort, and 
just what he's done for all of his players. He cared so deeply for his players and teams and meant so much to me. You know, not just as a player did he make me better, uh, he made me a better coach. And um, I love now how our teammates send a lot of the videos that are out about coach right now because people are getting to know who he was as a disciplinarian, who he was, that it wasn't about being politically correct. It was about being, it was about being correct. It was about telling the truth and living by the truth. And that's not always easy to do, especially this time that we're living in. And I appreciate that out of coach because because of that, he made us better every day. Has it been a big time of reflection for you when you think of him and you also think of this team being your, you know, your, your start in D1? What, what's kind of gone through your mind the last few weeks? Yeah, well, you start reflecting when you've been doing it so long. This is year 33. so And then you come to events like this and you see guys that you coached 25 years ago and they got children that are bigger than they are so it's uh you know those are the things you you just appreciate you appreciate the blessings you appreciate all my stops have been incredible um my journey has been an incredible blessing from player to coach and the players that i've had a chance to to be with the staffs that i've been able a chance to coach with have all been very very special and it, it started here after manchester and um i'll never forget that because they're very very special times Plane, plane back to Nevada at halftime? Is that after halftime? Yeah, we're flying back. Well, we'll probably be here a little bit later than halftime, but yeah, flying back, trying to get back so that I only miss tonight. I can't miss tomorrow for sure. <laughs>